Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Underrail and the first day of John Preston. Yes, our pistol wielding gunslinger is finally on the road and he will do so in style. He will not need strength, he will not need, uh, well, he need, need perception, of course, he will not need constitution, he will not need will, he will not need intelligence, he will need agility and dexterity. Actually, I want a little bit less perception and more dexterity. We need a name. One needs a name. Yay! We need skill. Of course, we need guns. We need dodge. We need evasion. We need stealth. We need hacking. We need lockpicking. We need traps. And... I think we should even take pickpocketing. I was first going for intimidation because John Preston is a very intimidating character itself, but uh, I think that's good as it is. So we are aiming shot and we're a gunslinger. Isn't that beautiful? I hope it is. Accept. So of course we skip the intro because we know everything all right. We're not getting the super gun now, because to get the super gun in the beginning, the 44, you need persuasion as a main skill. We don't have that. That's how it is, sadly. Good work here. We get an armor. That reduces stealth. Oh, come on, you're kidding. Who gives a character like this that kind of armor? That's cruel, even by my standards. Okay, nonetheless, we'll make the best of it. Maybe we can trade it for something useful. The first thing we go is the commons and cantina to get our main quest. Uh, if you want to have the quests read to you, the starting quests, um, look for the other characters, the monk. That was discontinued because of inefficiency. So... Always check all the places. There could be cool stuff in here. You'll never know. Yay! Ammunition! What kind of ammunition, by the way? It's 44 rounds! Now we don't have a 44 gun! Cruel world! Okay, the food is pretty useful. I totally like the food. Sometimes you cannot open um, so some stuff because of missing strength, and then you eat the food, and ta-da! You're back in action. Isn't that beautiful? Nothing here though. Let's get the quest. Oh, there is so much stuff. We could try to loot the place. Try how I will not do that at the moment. Um, I try my best not to disappoint. Right on. We're on the field work and how is it credited? Well, not that bad. All right. We could try to steal. Yeah, but that would be foolish. The guy would, uh, if they get angry, oh boy. We could theoretically sneak on people, their enemies, and steal their ammunition and weapons and all stuff. But uh, that is extremely hard, especially if, uh, as in this difficulty level, they're very, very good at attacking you. That is miserable, and that is even worse. He's not selling anything we can use. Well, perhaps this one here, but we don't have the money for that at this point. Such is life. Have we looked into this? Yes, we have. Okay, next stop is engineering and cyber labs. Oh, there's shelves. Nope, nothing. Nothing. We we'll get some extra XP just for I think uh, going here. So that's all right with me. Yay! Do you have something to trade? Something useful? No, you have lock picks. I would like to have lock picks. Yay! Thank you, sir. Can 
we going to stealth? Oh. He can see me. But they're not turning hostile, are they? No, they're not. Maybe we can loot something over here. I mean, we're stealthy and we're pickpockety and all. So the chances aren't that bad. Gorlon? Yeah, he does not know anything. Let's go into stealth. Nothing there. Ooh, some scrap. Scrap is basically useless because we're not crafting. So, yeah, not really helping. Let's see, we need a hacking device. And yes, we could try to rob all these people blind, but that is far too dangerous. Um, a normal one would do. We have a battery, so that's fine with me. And, oh, look at that. Thought control critical chances increased by 8%. That is incredible. That is absolutely outstanding. We're not using goggles because they reduce our chance to hit critical and we need that. Trade. Now we can pick locks and we can hack computers. Beautiful. Next stop is the armory. Yay, the armory. Let's go for the armory and Lucas. I guess so. Can I have my weapon back? So, we've got our weapon. He's not buying the armor. Why is he not buying the armor? He's buying fire, tactical vests, helmets, melee weapons. Okay. Uh, that is extremely bad for us. I think the weapons are too expensive for us, are they? 9 millimeter. How much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even close. As it comes for the armor, this armor is all useless to us. That is pretty good. Because that is a bullet protection of 9. This one here is incredible because it also has uh, electricity resistance. This increase increases agility, but what we really need is an armor that increases agility as well. But we don't have that, have we? Well, that's the world. We'll have to do with what we have. However, we could buy some traps or some explosives. Do you have explosives? No. Do you sell traps? Spare traps? No. No problem. I know someone who is selling traps. So, next point we go, there is always a where you can get some extra loot on the way and we're not missing any opportunity to fill our purses or bags with some extra stuff. Oh boy, these guys look angry, angry and dangerous. Never forget, they might, these shelves, the boxes, all that might be empty in one game. They can be filled with treasure in another. This is random after all. Okay, that is not that good, but maybe we can sell that for a good coin. We're all wondering about the effectiveness of this character. I think it will start to show when we have more than one pistol. When we have two pistols to switch between. So, a big one, 44mm, for critical aim shots, and a small one for concentrated fire. Oh boy, we're not lucky with loot in this, in this one here. Shell casings. We could theoretically try to make our own ammo to save cost, but um, let's be totally honest to, to ourselves, we would need mechanical a skill and we need chemistry a skill and that's a lot of skill just to make bullets maybe we invest some later on but I don't really think this is going to work out for us 
and we're just so intimidation is key I mean we're a we're a guy in a black coat trying to find people who are getting emotional and putting them out of their misery so oh boy we're not lucky today we're not learning any psyotic uh, psion skills with this guy what is our initiative by the way it's 32 oh boy but our damage is terrible however we can fire five times in a row which I think is okay not enough though not enough though what is our overall damage potential it is 8 to 14 when it was, as soon as we run into someone who has in fact the ability to um, some of the damage through th threshold or something like that um, we'll have a real problem due to the ineffectiveness of this weapon but the 5 millimeter will be our friend because we can fire like crazy there is one more chance for us to get some good stuff I was never thinking about playing a character without traps because as a person I love traps totally well, not stepping into them, but their tactical value. That does not mean I am a big fan of um, traps or mines in real life, but from a tactical standpoint, mines are absolutely glorious. Nothing here. We could go to Junk Town, but we should keep our stuff together. We'll have to find or have to buy. Um, Explosive sooner or later, more sooner than I think. So, into the caves, open the gate. Oh, we have only 49 life points because we have so low constitution. But that's all right, we can handle this. We can handle this. We got this. Let's speak to the old timer first. Yay, knowledge. Outposts. Oh, we're going to find your watch. Want to talk about something else? What are you doing here? Can you bother? He's selling a 5mm. That is more effective than our weapon. And he's selling the 44mm. How much, my friend? Oh, god damn you to hell. Um, He's selling... Oh, boy. That is amazing. They are not that good when you look at the movement point bonus and the movement speed increase. That is pretty terrible. But the rest is glorious. Oh, 10 bio. Biomed. That is, that is, that could be, um, that could come in handy though. And the leather armor comes in handy. How much? Oh, yes. Beautiful. How much coin do I have? 49. I should buy some traps. Oh, I cannot afford all the traps, so let's reset. Let's say I only want... Split, I only want eight traps. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. So... Our agility should be now through the roof. Literally speaking. We have an agility of 12. Which means our dodge and defense are going sky high. Oh, there might be loot. This might be good. No, it decides not to be. Okay, I think it's time for our first fights. See how well and effective this character is. Of course, please keep in mind that there is a lot of um, RNG in here. So it might go good, it might go bad. Let's 
So let's first place some traps because there will be some rat uh, hounds. And I don't want to die on my first rat hound. Question is, where are they? Pretty sure they're around. Oh. Chances of hitting are not that bad. We don't have a lot of ammunition, though. So let's retreat first and let him come. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, can I finish you off with a super shot? I can. Good work. But there will be more of them. Oh, and yes, they are. Can we kill this guy without traps? That's the question. Well, let's try. We're pretty good at what we do. We could fire a couple of shots, but I don't think we should. We should be... How far can we move? We cannot even move that far. We have 45 movement points, but that is not that much. As you can see, we're not, we're not exactly running miles here. Um... And we don't have a lot of ammunition. But then again, okay. Missed. Hit. Missed. Hit. So this is about average. Whoa, this guy's fast. Okay. We're good. Although... Although, we're spending our ammunition far faster than we should. This is kind of dangerous. That is okay. That is okay. Oh yeah, ammunition. Beautiful. That's kind of useless. We should reload our weapon though. Yay. That we can fire five shots a turn is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. The fact that we don't find any loot at this point is not so nice. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Yay! Critical. They cannot open doors, so I'm relatively, I'm speaking relatively safe here. Good work. Can you do a critical on him? Ah, oh, crap. What a waste of ammo. Good work. They're all dead, we're not. Beautiful. Oh, lockpicking. Funny thing that is, because that is something I can offer. Um, 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 and we should get this active, and we should get it powered. Yay! Another trap door. That is okay. That is fine. I think we should go down. This, I think, will give us another... Uh, there should be a way through here, or is that somewhere else? I think that is somewhere else, then. What a shame. Okay, but we're we're fine. We're fine. Let's reload our weapon. We would n n never want to be caught with our pens down, do we? So reload the gun. Reloaded. Woohoo! They will come. Okay. 
Oh god, I think I made a critical mistake. Because the rat will now run to the other opening. Yes, he will. Okay. Good. Well, not my problem because... Yay! We got a level up. Beautiful. And extra experience. Very, very nice. Is there more than one? Tabby boots. I like that. Nope, that's it here. There any other stuff here? I don't think so. You can never be sure. So, reload the weapons. Yeah, our ammunition is is dwindling away from us. Dwindling away. But we gotta level up, that's cool. So we go for more dodge, of course, more evasion, more guns, more stealth, more hacking, even though we're terrible at this. Um The more points you invest this the, the heavier your your uh, negativity counts. So I see it. So next thing we need is Hit and run would be an idea, but what we really need is paranoia, because we're a gunslinger, we're a, we're a pistol man. We need to, to shoot as fast as we can. And um, that's the reason I think we should take paranoia. There is the other choice or the other idea, as we're firing a lot, to take um, reckless, because that's 7% higher chance to um, hit critical and we're shooting a lot so that is an idea suppressive fire does not work because we're using pistols and sprint would also work because movement but then 30 movement points isn't that much um, the question is what is more important paranoia or re uh, relentless I personally think we need the critical because seven percent more critical with five shots in a turn that is a lot of critical chance so we take that except what are our crit chances they're 14 percent hmm could be better uh, our defenses dodge is acceptable armor penalty is at five percent we have to live with that and yeah we're good Good to go and see each other next time. Bye.